Yo, what's up and good morning. Uh, it is Saturday morning. Uh, we played video games or arcade games, I should say, uh, last night. Uh, actually, but like, just more pinball. But uh, every um, Saturday morning, they do a swap meet. So uh, we're out here looking at the swap meet. It's kind of cool. They have different stuff, marquees and whatnot. Hey, it looks like a, my buddy. It's kind of like a variety of stuff. It's like everything from like toys and video games um, all the way up to like arcade parts. But I figured I just kind of wanted to like um, just kind of walk through and show you just like some of the stuff that's here. Kind of kind of cool stuff. Some stuffed animals. Uh, everything from a missile command. Uh, what do you call it? Cocktail. Uh, just some different parts, big top. Sorry, kind of hit the hit the mic pole there. Um, a lot of parts. It's like jukes and kind of like bar touch screen stuff. But yeah, I always like coming down here. I always like pick up different stuff. I picked up um, Radio Shack sign <laughs> one year. It's kind of cool. And then I was looking at this, they had a pachinko machine, I was looking at that. Um, it was like somebody got that boot hill back there. They wanted, uh, initially they wanted, I think it was like 700 and... It was like, it wasn't working. Some of this stuff is really great. As far as prices. Some of the stuff's a little high. So it just kind of depends. So it's like, there's these PVMs over here and they're like... I don't know, they're up there. <laughs> and then, um, we had gotten some marquees from here. I picked up that, let's say they picked up that stoplight. The stoplight, I think it was like 100 or best offer. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to walk through here and just kind of show some of the stuff. This is where the boot hill was. They wanted seven, but it wasn't working. <clears throat> Which, who knows, like, you know, what could be wrong with it. Some other, like, different stuff and parts. PCBs, cassette tapes. <sighs> Still wake it up. Um, but, yeah, last night was good. Some CRTs. But, um, yeah, played quite a few games and whatnot. And I was already, like ready to pass out by like midnight because I had to drive in and it was just you know it was just a long day but um, you know had some fun got to play the new Godzilla Godzilla was pretty cool she got some of this stuff though like, this stuff is like really cool I always wanted one of these I always wanted one of those bubblegum things look at that some really old stuff there's Boo Hill Super cool. Love me some boot hill. Oh, we got some sirens. Yeah, I was kind of looking at the Toys R Us thing. I thought that was kind of cool. They have some good prices here. I like this. Um, lots of just random. Uh, looks like uh, bezels for like Pac-Man and stuff like that. And I love this love meter, but it looks like all the coin max are taken out and whatnot. And I don't know, it just looks like bad condition, but there's like a love meter in the back. Uh, Looks like uh, some maybe like DMD displays there. I don't know, all kinds of different stuff. Uh, some of the deals are super spectacular, and then other deals are a little bit higher, uh, a little bit more expensive. Oh, I like I like this uh, lunchbox over here. I think this guy was a little pricey though, but I like this lunchbox. It's like that original Ghostbusters. Remember they had the like I guess the licensing issue, so they had. Um, It was like um, 
it was like the real Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters, so it was like kind of like the other Ghostbusters. Hey, this guy should get the Ghostbusters stuff. But, I don't know, pretty cool. That's the swap meet. Uh, I'm actually pretty surprised that uh, they were actually able to put this on, considering that it seems like all the events have been kind of like, kind of blocked because of COVID, but glad to, glad to be back in full swing. And uh, tonight's gonna be the last night where we're gonna just go through and just play stuff and play the heck out of some games, I think. But uh, yeah, that's the swap meet. Check out that, Andre the Giant. That's nice, so freaking cool. <laughs> I did, super cool. All right, we'll be doing a uh, walkthrough and all that good stuff a little bit later. I'll try to do it before I start drinking. But uh, yeah, man, that is the swap meets. Pretty cool stuff. Sorry, Thad, I couldn't find anything for you. I was like looking around, but I didn't see anything that kind of caught my eye for you. But hey, look, CC's in front Ruckers. <laughs> it's kind of funny. All right, I will check y'all all later. We'll be uh, going and doing that walkthrough. All right, talk to you later. day of the expo and my voice is gone after uh, yelling last night trying to talk over the music so I'm just gonna do a walkthrough of the Houston Arcade Expo for 2021 just look at some of the games here and uh, this is actually the pin that they're giving away so the pinball raffle so it's a Mandalorian uh, I won it last time with the Jurassic Park um, and some artwork and Harp Twins, they were performing, uh, just various vendors and whatnot. Um, they had Flash Gordon, and then they had the Flash Gordon pin, which is kind of cool. Seemed like a super nice guy. Of course, uh, Brian did all the Rampage and Pigskin, and worked on a lot of games. Kind of see some of his portfolio there, some of the stuff he's worked on. Uh, some more vendors. Just vendors, vendors, vendors. Kind of walk through. So it is uh, 10.30. I need to check out at noon. But um, we were up till like 5 last night. So I got up. Uh, I had some breakfast, whatnot. And um, <laughs> my voice is like super raspy. Check out all these consoles. Super cool. What's that? Commodore 1701? Oh no. 02. My bad. I have a couple of those. Check out that. 3DO. That Justifier, I guess? It looks like a Justifier. Pretty cool. A little Vectrex. GX TV. Tempest Cabaret. It wasn't on all, um, the whole show. I don't know if it just didn't get plugged in or what. Track and Field. Uh, that's new, Primal Rage. That wasn't here last night. At least I don't remember it being here last night. Uh, Warlord's Cocktail. Uh, more vendors. Vendors, vendors, vendors. Then like some Commodore 64 stuff, an Amiga. So this Commodore 64, it's kind of neat. It was doing it last night, it's not doing it now. But it has like LEDs and it's in this clear plastic and it like lights up and stuff. It's pretty crazy. <clears throat> some other stuff. I don't know, a loadout I don't think it's like till two. So, but check it out, Fireball. Home use, right? And look, Neo Geo Mini. This is the one I want. My gosh, I would love to take this one. The monitor looks super crisp. Looks great. 
And then they have like the Mortal Kombat uh, bike, lowrider bike. <laughs> Face painting, more vendors. Um, you got these tabletop arcades. So that's like the new Neo Geo, and then that's the, what is it they call it, the I Arcade or whatever? Man, that control panel's chewed. Hmm. It's just not very durable, guys. This is what I'm saying. Yeah, some more console stuff. They have that all in the front room, like when you first walk in. It's all vendors and, you know, console stuff and whatnot. And then uh, once you go into the main room, then you have all the... You have all the arcade and pinball stuff. So they sell shirts, merchandise, and then there's the pinball raffle. Hopefully we win. All right, we're in there somewhere. We got five tickets this time. Last time we won with one ticket. So we were just real lucky last time. So hopefully we win uh, this time. All right, so here's the main. Also, oh, that guy there with the, the hat, he was the one that was up till like five. <laughs> You're alive. <laughs> so he was DJing till like five o'clock last night. Uh, more vendors, stuff like that. I love that Pac-Man. It's like the anniversary edition. And then usually they bring, uh, the new pinball is usually what they bring out. So this year it's Godzilla, which is freaking amazing. So look at all these Godzillas. These are, I believe, yeah, they're pros. And you can tell the pros because they, they have like little plastic, uh, like inserts, not inserts, but little standees or whatever. Whereas, I don't know if you can see it, but the, let's see, where's my hand? Right there, there's a Mega Godzilla. And it's like an actual physical toy. And that's on the premium. And then, um, Game Preserve's here. Love Game Preserve. Uh, they brought some games in. I love, uh, if you ever go to the NASA location, they have awesome artwork. And it's all like space themed. And so they kind of like brought that here. It's kind of cool. And then they have a DJ booth. And the DJ booth's like a little spaceship. So they brought their little spaceship, it's pretty cool. Uh, different games, whatever, you know, it's like, um, Bump and Jump would be one that I would want. Uh, I would like a Mario Brothers, but uh, I don't know, that's kind of falling off for me. This is one I'm like really wanting, Little Clax Cabaret. If you ever get rid of that, you need to let me know. I love it, it looks like it's in great condition too. I was trying to look at it in the light. So usually it's dark in here, but I think it's since they're going to be wrapping up today, um, they have the lights on, or at least that's what I remember. I don't, I don't really remember too much. And then these were everywhere. It was like, they were, they were basically playing like Yacht Rock and they were giving away these like sailor hats with lays and stuff. And, oh, it was fun. Some Neo Geo, look at that Neo Geo. It's a projection screen, so it's a little, oh, that game is so good. If you have never played that game, play it. You're like a little tomato. It's a freaking amazing game. I wonder if that's the real cartridge that's running in there. I know they run that on the multi-card. It's a really great game. If you've never played it before, play it. And then there's a Neo Geo Goldie. <laughs> Kinda cool. Like it, like it. Lots of Neo Geo stuff. Uh, bunch of pins. Yeah, we got South Park, Shadow, Adam's Family, Doctor Who, Taxi. I didn't play Taxi. I was going to play Taxi. Uh, Space Invaders, 8-Ball Deluxe. F-14 was like, I don't know, it was freaking out like pretty much the whole weekend. So I think they turned it off. Uh, Time Machine, Hot Wheels. I didn't get to play Hot Wheels. I wanted to play Hot Wheels. Uh, Earthshaker, Next Generation, Dialed In. I don't even think I played Dialed In. We did play Game of Thrones, Starship Troopers, Dracula. Uh, my brother played this one, Heist. It's pretty cool. It has like a like a LED monitor or whatever that's in the bottom. It like interacts. 
I really like Star Trek. I think I was the only one that liked it. It's a limited edition one. Uh, it has a bunch of mods, and then they put like QR codes telling you like what the mods are. I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. I like that game. And we got Stargate, and then they do like a tournament, and so those are like some of the tournament games. Uh, Black Knight. And then they have like all these different accessories for your pinball machine, uh, some shirts, just more vendors. Met Corpse. I didn't do that, that was like kind of crazy. So just uh, console games, t shirts, and then. Um, Alien. This game is okay. Oh, it's out of order. Oh, man, that sucks. I'm glad I got to play it. It's the thing about pins. Or actually about all these games, really. Um, they just <laughs> they go out. There's a Super Sprint. Uh, check this out. It is a Punch-Out. But uh, it's, it's a Superman. And they actually have the monitors both running Superman. It's kind of crazy. Zaxxon, the best game here. Actually, I, I, me personally, I really do like this game. A lot of people give it a hard time and stuff like that, but I love this game. This game is so cool. Especially if you get into it. It's, it's hard. I like it, though. Blasteroids, Super Contra, Wizard of War, Punch-Out, Arabian, Frogger, Mortal Kombat 3. There's an Asteroids Cocktail. I think Thad wanted this game. Oh, wait, there it is, 800 bucks. They just put that on there. I need to tell that. Uh, Galaxian, uh, like in a uh, title cap. Uh, Pac-Man, Miss Pac. Uh, uh, Moscone, Junior Pac. Kicks, uh, 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 just like mine. It is actually running a ZooQ. So if you take um, player one, player two, press it. It'll actually go into the ZooQ menu. I actually showed someone that. Pretty cool. We were playing ZooKeeper because it wasn't a ZooKeeper here. So we got to play ZooKeeper for a bit. They were super excited to find out about that. Space Encounters. Uh, I wish that one was working, but nope, not working. Super Pack. I love Super Pack. Rampage, Bubbles. Uh, there's a Durable Blaster. Uh, X Men. Buck Rogers. Xevious, Burger Time. Pretty much uh, nothing too crazy. Joust 2. I like, a, I like Pango. I would like that game. Popeye. Vessel Command. Check out this one, though. Okay, there's two here. A cool spot. I had never seen that one. Uh, I tried to play it. I didn't know it was like. A, I thought it was more like a, like if you remember, like in the '90s, they had like the one on the Super Nintendo and the Genesis, and I thought it was gonna be like an action game, but it was like kind of some kind of like puzzle game. And then check it out, Satan's Hollow Cabaret. Super cool. Actually, I did miss a row. They have a bunch of PC gaming going on too. It's kind of cool. But a little space app. Vanguard. This, I love this game. Blue Shark. Super cool. Very therapeutic. You sit there and play with one beer, like one hand. Virtual on, head to head. This game, I sat here for about 30 minutes trying to land trying to land a plane on this one. I, I thought it was broken and you couldn't do it, but I eventually got it. But it's like very fine touches as far as like what you gotta do. I even had a like a pilot's hat on. I felt like very, uh, very official. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let me go over here, make our way through. So over here we have a multi-cade, pigskin. I love the, I love the cabinet. I love the, look at that marquee. That's so cool. Commando, a couple of Nintendo cabs, a reactor that's always going to be freaking out. Always freaking out. Tubing, I want the monitor. I would love to take that monitor. 
uh, some kind of X arcade thing. R type. That's like we were trying to play it and we, we were drinking and we were like, what's going on? And then, well, we didn't see this. We were just trying to fly the spaceship and we then we noticed that it was actually rolling ever so slightly. Uh, Hyper Sports, Pac Man, this pack, Tempest. Uh, so then you got a Zoltar, Bubble Tech, four player, uh, Pac Man. Uh, just some more like, you know, newer stuff. Led Zeppelin, Avengers. Uh, this big old, this thing is so loud. Raising Storm. Uh, this is a uh, off the time crisis game. So it has like the foot pedal, where you press the foot pedal and then like, you know, just like time crisis. So that's kind of cool. Big game. Uh, Dance Dance Revolution. Twilight Zone for sale. King of Diamonds. Older games. Shiny Mnemonic, Family Guy, Funhouse, Hook, Elvira. I was okay with Elvira. Uh, there's a Tron, Black Rose, Barbed Wire, uh, Awesome Powers, No Fear, Tells from the Crypt, which I like, Ghostbusters. Marco Specialties was here giving away stuff. Um, they had this ice cold beer here, but it has been dead the whole time. There's Terminator 2, Demolition Man. I didn't really like Demolition Man. I don't know. I feel like grabbing the handles, I feel like I'm going to break it. Or I can't like move the game like where I want it. Here's some, uh, here's some of the other games. The games are actually really loud now. It sounds like an arcade. I love this game. I love Strikes and Spares. Awesome game. And then Tron. Tron has these like these legs. It's pretty cool. That's Tron. I like Elvira Scared Stiff. I like that game. But that's it. I mean, it's not not too bad considering uh, with COVID and whatnot. Oh, check this one out. This is super cool. So it's like a little phone booth. Oh, they put a 60 in one. And if it wasn't so much though, 1400. 1400 for a repurposed LC. But it like, you know, it gives you a good idea. It's pretty cool though, like good idea. But yeah, so that is uh, the Houston Arcade Expo for 2021. Super cool. I'm glad that it's back. So I'm letting them try to make their announcements. But Super happy that uh, it's back in person, and I don't know. It seems like people are enjoying themselves, playing games, whatnot. I like it. I, I'm so glad it's back. I can't wait for um, more of these like expos and conferences to happen, so uh, that way uh, we can get out and play some games and play some new stuff. It was nice being able to play Godzilla. Uh, now I'm like wanting one, so that's. I guess that's not good. It's kind of pricey. I think it's like. The intro one is like seven thousand dollars, so it's like, and then we didn't even want that one. We want the higher end one, right? So, but yeah, I think that's gonna do it. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed this walkthrough of the 2021 Arcade Expo, and I will see you all on the next episode. Check y'all later.